look at um, I look at line quality, I look at proportion, and all those things. And there's no such thing as a professional figure drawer. No one grows up to be. What do you do, do for a living? A figure drawer. Right? I'm gonna make money drawing a figure. Right? No one ever does that. But yet, oddly enough, artists in this industry continue to draw the figure their whole career. That should say something about the value of what you're learning while you draw the figure. It's not so you can make money at it. You know, it's not so you can put it in a frame and hang it on your wall, right? I mean, 99 out of 100 figure drawings get thrown away eventually, right? But the process of doing it trains your mind to learn the principles of, of design. And it also, uh, it's also a really, really difficult, painful process, especially at first. And if, if, if you're of the disposition that when times get tough, you take off, then, then, then a lot of people leave pre-animation and go do something else because it's too tough. It's too hard for them. Right? If you want it easy, go into accounting or something. <coughs> going to something where you know exactly what the expectation is. But with figure drawing, it's always going to be difficult. Every time I sit down and draw the figure, I have anxiety. It's always hard. Okay. But it need, needs to be that way. It needs to be that way. If it was easy, it, you know, you'd, I don't think the industry would be as creative and. Uh, exciting as it is. Okay, enough about figure drawing, right? Unless there's any last questions. How about sketchbook? Josh? I've been hearing varying things about the medium to, to use in it. Like in the packet, it talks about don't use pencil, don't use ballpoint pen. Uh, some faculty uh, say, say that's good. Some faculty say that it's it's bad to use those, those things. Um, some some say it's okay. I've seen like sketchbooks that have gotten in that have pencil stuff in them. I don't know. Like I've been trying to stick to the the, the non noodly mediums. But what 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 do you think about that? Okay. First of all, let me let me take one step back because you you, you hit a good point. As faculty, we're never going to agree hardly on anything. Okay. <laughs> If you go to one faculty and ask advice, and you go to another faculty, you're going to get conflicting advice. Okay, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, we're we're individuals, and 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 Kelly and Brent and I and Cynthia, we we all make decisions based on our own careers, our own backgrounds, our own aesthetic tastes and preferences. Right? And we're all going to make comments like that. You should never expect the same advice out of faculty. And what that does to you is it makes you sit back and think, oh crap, now I've got to think about it myself. Now I've got to decide for myself because I'm getting conflicting advice. That's a good thing. Okay? It forces you to make those kinds of decisions. My preference is I, I, I do not like to use pencil in my sketchbook. And I do not like to use ballpoint pen in my sketchbook. Maybe Cynthia or Kelly does, you know, and that's that's fine. That's their preference. But the reason that I don't like it, and I and I encourage students to steer away from those, is because those kinds of tools, um, they they enable you to over noodle your drawings, and you just sit there and sketch away like this and an hour goes by and you've been working on a head that size, right? With a marker or a brush pen or, or, or a ballpoint, not a ballpoint pen, a, like a rollerball gel pen or something like that. What you put down is there, it's a big bold line and there's no going light at it and noodling, it's, it's there. And so you learn to develop confidence with that line. You put it down, gotta work with it, gotta work with it, gotta work with it, right? Two minutes goes by and your drawing's done, and you move on to the next. Okay. Um, you don't want to spend excessive time on a single drawing in your sketchbook. 
at this point in, in, in your advancement, quantity is more important than quality. I know that sounds, I know that sounds uh, contradictory to probably what you, you think or, or what you uh, have been taught. But I'm not talking about your portfolio. I'm talking about like the process of drawing. Okay. You learn more about a drawing in the first two minutes about whether that drawing is a good drawing and what you what what you picked up in doing that sketch and what you learned doing that sketch than you do in the following hour of that sketch. The following hour of that drawing is just noodling over the top of what you just learned. It's, it's icing on the cake. Right? But that first two minutes, that's where you figure out the core of your drawing, the meat of it. That's where you figure out your design, your basic design, your basic proportions, your basic story, your basic character. It's all done in the first two minutes. Okay? So if you limit yourself and just draw about two to five at the most per drawing, you will exponentially learn more at a greater rate than if you spend an hour on a single drawing. If we get a sketchbook and we open it up and it's got this insanely gorgeous, rendered, beautiful face of Albert Einstein on the front cover, right? And the next page there's another one that's insanely beautiful, right? And then, and then the rest of the sketchbook is blank. It didn't, it didn't help us understand anything about you. It tells us that, that, that you potentially worked on that one drawing for an hour, or was it a hundred hours? We don't know. We don't really know. And I guarantee that if, that, that if you spent a hundred hours on one face, you know, just about anybody could make it look pretty cool. If you spend a hundred hours on it, you'd drive yourself insane. But you can make it look pretty cool. But, in, but when they're quicker drawings with like a brush pen you know, or a marker or something like that, you don't have that luxury of spending too much time. It can build up on each other and then it just becomes mud, so you have to learn how to stop. Right? But when we pick up a sketchbook and we see you know, these quick drawings, quick gestures, boy, we can look right through all that icing and we can see exactly what you're made of.